Hello, I'm Mayor Phil Good with your weekly update. The City of Prescott Tourism Office, also known as Experience Prescott, is celebrating National Travel and Tourism this week. Tomorrow, Tuesday, May 21st, Experience Prescott will host an open house from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Prescott Chamber of Commerce Visitor Center. Come learn more about Experience Prescott and meet many of the tourism stakeholders and businesses from the community. This week is also Emergency Medical Services Week and also National Public Works Week. You may not realize that the City of Prescott is in the business of providing emergency medical services, but our first responders, emergency medical technicians, paramedics, emergency medical dispatchers, firefighters, and police officers are often called upon at a moment's notice to provide life-saving care to those in need 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The services they provide are vital to our community. I want to personally express my appreciation for all they do to make an incredibly valuable difference in our city. During our council meeting last week, we recognized National Public Works Week and saw a short video highlighting many of the activities from our Public Works Department. Did you know that the Public Works Department is the largest department in the city? One of the points made in the Public Works video was that everything they do matters to everyone's quality of life here in our community. I want to take this opportunity to recognize the contributions which our Public Works professionals make every day to our health, safety, comfort, and daily experiences in the City of Prescott. Thank you for all you do. Speaking of Public Works, they're the ones who oversee the city's road maintenance and repair projects. Have you ever wondered what methods of asphalt repair are used? Do you know the differences between a crack seal and a fog seal or what a utility cut repair is? Our city website has an excellent resource that explains all about this. The link is below. In the meantime, we do currently have several road projects underway. Notably, work continues on Willow Creek Road and also work at the Prescott Lakes Parkway and Sundog Ranch Road. Please be aware and alert when you're driving through any road projects you may encounter and drive safely. Be sure to plan for extra time to reach your destination if you're on any of these roadways. Once complete, the improvements will extend pavement life and significantly improve the road quality for Prescott area motorists. We always appreciate your continued cooperation, patience, and understanding. At last Tuesday's council study session, we had a presentation and discussion regarding utility and non-utility development impact fees, land use assumptions, and the infrastructure improvement plan. This included proposed increases in development fees for streets, fire and police, and utility infrastructure. We also discussed the proposed new and increased water and wastewater rates and fees. The next public hearing on the matter is scheduled for May 28, 2024 at the regularly scheduled 3 p.m. City Council meeting located in the City Council Chambers at Prescott City Hall. The earliest the City Council can take formal action on adopting any new and increased water and wastewater rates and fees will be immediately after the May 28, 2024 public hearing. The increased water and wastewater rates will become effective at the earliest 30 days after the adoption of the increases by our Prescott City Council. On Thursday, May 16th, we had our second budget workshop for the fiscal year 2025. If you would like to review the PowerPoint slides from either of the budget workshops, the link is below and the documents listed in the right-hand column. At last week's council meeting, we approved the ballot language for Proposition 478, the dedicated transaction privilege tax of 95 hundredths of 1%, 0.95%. If approved by the voters, the tax will be used solely to fund new police and fire stations, including staffing, equipment, and vehicles. The tax will reduce to 75 one hundredths of 1%, 0.75%, 1 by December 31st, 2035, once the new stations have been built. Arguments for or against this proposition will be accepted by the City Clerk's Office through July 12th in person or via mail. The argument shall not exceed 300 words in length and must be accompanied by a $100 submission fee. Please see the link below for additional information.
The Forest Service is proposing to change recreation fees at certain sites in the Prescott National Forest. If the proposal is approved, fee changes would be implemented in the spring of 2025. Locally affected fee increases include White Spar Trailhead and the Bean Peaks Trailhead. The proposed day fee would be $5 per vehicle. Currently, there is no charge at these locations. Other fee increases across the eastern areas of the Prescott National Forest are also being proposed. America the Beautiful and Forest Passes will still be honored and visitors with these passes will not be required to pay the $5 day use fees. With the 2004 Federal Lands Recreation Enhancement Act, at least 80% of fees collected at recreation sites must be used locally to operate, maintain, and improve these sites. Fee increases translate directly to improved facilities across the forest. Public comments will be accepted through July 2, 2024. There's a link below if you would like more information. Next weekend is Memorial Day weekend. On Monday, May 27, city offices and Prescott Public Library will be closed. Solid waste trash collection will be operating on their normal schedule, although the transfer station will also be closed. I'm Mayor Phil Good, and I'll be updating you again next Wednesday. Thanks for watching.